So ISC squared has decided to change the name of the CAP exam. So this exam is previously known as the Certified Authorization Professional CAP. Um, and now ISC squared is changing it to Certified in Governance, Risk, and Compliance. So it's going to be known as the CGRC now. And that's going to be effective February 15, 2023. Um, so based on this email that was sent out to ISC Square members who hold the CAP exam or CAP certification, it's saying that the exam, uh, no one who currently has the uh, CAP certification is going to be required to take another exam. So you're not going to be required to take another exam. Um, it's just that your um, exam, uh, your certification name has changed. And the ISC score would probably send you an updated certification in the mail. They're good about that. So they'll probably send you the, you know, the package with the new pin and the new card and a new certificate that says uh, CGRC. I kind of like the name because um, it does say GRC in the title and uh, that gives people... Uh, more information on what the certification is because previously when we said cap people were like what's that about but at least now if you say GRC people kind of get an inclination on what you're talking about so um, they said let's see what else they have here uh, so if you're a member you could get a digital certification so you could actually go and download the digital um, certification to get the GRC but I'm sure they'll send you the physical copy in the mail as well um, there's also a website a link uh, that you can click on that gives you more information on the new certification okay so I clicked on the link and here is the frequently asked question. Why is the CAP exam name changing and what is it changing to? So the answer is the CAP exam is changing to CGRC. Only the name is changing. So I guess the content, the domains and everything is going to remain intact. Um, just the name, just the name alone is what's changing. Uh, when will the cap change its name to so CGRC? Uh, we already talked about that, February 15th, 2023. What are the requirements? Sorry, what are the required domains for the CGRC? It's going to be the same uh, domains as the cap, so the current domains. Uh, let's see. If I already hold the cap certification, what do I need to do? Uh, the answer is just download the digital certification and it will update your account. It will be sent an email from Credly to accept a new uh, version of the digital badge. Okay, in what language would the CGRC be available? Um, same format, I guess, same format as the CAP. Will the name change impact the number of items or the time required to take the C GRC exam? Of course, no. If I have been studying for the CAP exam with materials that focuses on the current domains, will I be sufficiently prepared to take the new exam without additional study? Of course, yes. Only the name is changing. Nothing else is changing. Do these Updates affect the experience required for the GRC? Again, no. So most of these questions are um, self-explanatory. The only change is in the name. Everything else remains the same. So all the information that you already have about the CAP exam remains the same. Just the name changes, okay? Only the name changes. All right, so nothing else is going to be impacted. All right, so I hope this was informative. Um, if you already have your CAP exam, just go ahead and download that digital 
uh, badge digital uh, certification and uh, we'll see you next time don't forget to subscribe and like we're also on ig at cyber first solutions thank you